Hello, this is Everett Pierce on this 3rd of November 2016 and we have 8.30. Now this is about the 2016 presidential corruption. Now, there's just some things I want to bring to your attention so you can use your objective and creative mind. And this is in regards to the vote, the ballot box. Now stop and think about of our society, the banks. Now you have a banking system with the ATMs and and they're highly secure. Well, for the obvious reasons, so to cut down on fraud and people ripping other people things off. So so for the most part they're they're fairly secure. Or at least what we think of. Anyways, okay, so so now you're saying, wait a minute, it's not like we don't have the technology to have something secure, private. So why isn't these technologies being used towards our voting to make it easy and simple for Americans? Because all Americans should be casting their vote. If you're an American citizen or a born, natural born citizen, then you should be casting your vote. It's not an option. It's a requirement. You're required to pay your taxes. You're required to abide by the law. And you're also required to vote. And the reason for that, when you have abundance of people, you know, you're making reference to we the people. So if you have 50 million votes out of 300 million, that only represents a small portion of Americans. Okay. So, why? That's what you need to be asking. Well, I can tell you the reason why it's been conducted in kind of a more of a loose environment. Because corruption at the box has been performed. Now, as we get along in our evolution, and we're in 2016, and with the technology that we do have, it just makes it that much more difficult for them to do it at the box. Okay. So, so that's what I'm saying is they, the, it's actually the voting system itself is an element of corruption. Especially when you look at the manner in which our government holds our sensitive material, like with Hillary Clinton, by Layton, protocols and laws about a private server. Okay, so we have things part of the government that's part of the, the banking system that's easy, it's fast, it's fairly secure. And but yet it's not being applied to our votes, our voting system. So that's that that's what you should be thinking about. Okay. Now part of the illusionist is as we all know, the mat they get you looking here, but the magic is done over here. So, so in terms of the true corruption, now the electoral college, the electoral college were was meant and intended at the beginning and development of the United States. Okay, and it was intended to be corrupted. Okay, it was a deliberate corrupt. Okay, now why? Okay, but it was a good corrupt. And let me explain to you as to why. Okay, so just like a kid getting on a bike with training wheels. Okay, why do we put training wheels on it? So, so he has a chance to get oriented with the bike and feel confident in the bike and within himself. And then if at some point you take the, the wheels off. Well, as we know, the electoral college still exists today. So those training wheels was never taken off. Okay. And I can write I can write a book that's bigger than the Oxford Dictionary as to the the reasoning behind Electoral College. Okay, so So we still have that in place. Okay, so so when you get people or that's still learning the development, the evolutionary concepts the Constitution, people are going to make the mistakes, okay? And that's part of the evolutional process. But for those of us that really knows 
the structures and of the government and everything else that we can take it upon ourselves when necessary if if we see that we the people are really voting for a person who by it'd be like if we see that the person they're voting is Hitler so we're going to have a meaning behind the wall and say hey I know that's who they want but we can't afford him in office so we would do is make it look like it was a fair voting election. That's the thing. Because you don't want to make it obvious. You, if you make it too obvious, they'll say, Oh, corruption! Look, I know it! I know it! Okay. So you, you couldn't be obvious about it. Because you want to maintain hope and faith, integrity in America, in the system. Because it does work. Okay, so, so there were times that we had to step in and, and change those who were being elected. Okay, so that's, in short, describing the Electoral College. And as we know, that we're having problems today that people ain't voting because they, they feel as though that if they vote and they spend all that time standing in line, that their vote's not going to count anyways. Well, isn't that a subtle hint? Hint, 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 Is every vote counts. And the only way that's going to be is every American citizen out there goes out and casts their vote. You add them up, simple mathematics, one plus one is two, and so on. And as we know, that happens in our Senate. If they're voting against or for or against something, if you got 51%, meaning the majority, then when they're tallied up, you get the majority, then you go with the majority. Okay, so just for the evidence that the Electoral College still exists today, and I can write an encyclopedia, that actually would make the encyclopedia seem like a brochure on your front doorstep is the purpose, the energy tool of electoral college, which is no different than training wheels to a bicycle. So, at some point you got to take the wheels off and pe American people have to make their own choices. And if they make the wrong choices, how do people develop themselves to make better choices? So Americans haven't, in that respect, been in a position to develop themselves and make the mistakes and blah, 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 blah. You know, because of the Democrats. And it's like, we want to control this. We want, you know, and it's, so, and, but I'm not saying that the Republicans haven't, you know, they don't have no freaking halo over their head either. Okay. But push come to shove, I'd jump on the, the Republican bandwagon before I would Democrats. So, but anyways, they, they both exist because they have a significant purpose in our system. And as we all know, each and every one of us, there's good things and bad things about all of us. Okay? So, instead of taking the perspective of we're trash, let's just throw ourselves away. Let's throw them away. How about let's try to understand ourselves. Try to we can reach a point of being functional, functionality, in a very constructive way that's consistent with evolution. So, um, so yeah, so we, you know, when you try to problem solve, you know, as the problem solver of man, is it's not what's in there. You also have to look at what isn't in there that would be obvious that it should be in there. Because as we learn and problem solve, we learn these little elements is, if I do this, it's not necessarily bad, but what it does, it opens up the doors of people being dishonest, deceitful, committing fraud, stealing, raping, murdering. So you have to be mindful of those little doors. So that may seem harmless, like, Harmless of making voting an option. If you make it an option, as we see with human behavior, and they saw it, 
is people have the tendency to become lazy and complacent. And the element of complacent, if anyone knows complacent, is Democrats. They know it well, firsthand, of what it's like to be complacent. <laughs> so, and then, and then you put pressures on them, keep them oppressed, and keep them working. Then they, then essentially, they don't have time to engage in our nation, our election, and our politics and stuff. And they will take the lazy way out. And especially if you get them thinking that my vote don't count. And you and you, you make it obvious, but you don't obvious. It's kind of like I call the middle ground. Is when you get people thinking that my vote don't count, then they stay the hell home. And they say, well, I ain't going to vote. Essentially, American people are doing exactly what they want you to do. Ah! So they're like puppeteers. Like trying to, you know, be the puppet master. And so anyways, and a lot of people have fallen into the the play of things. And just because, mainly because they weren't informed. And not saying ignorance is a bad thing. Ignorance is just a lack of knowledge, understanding of things. But they were preying on your ignorance. Just like a pedophile preying on a child. So... Just keep that in mind when you vote. And I say that to all 50 states of the United States. That Energy and I have worked so freaking hard to put a perfect system together that brings liberties, freedoms, opportunities, and fairness to all people. Because we are now the big brothers to all nations. We are to move into the next stage of things of United Nations we stand. Then the next element is United Worlds We Stand. Oh my God, what? United Worlds? You mean we're, we're not alone? Come on. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's quite obvious that we are not alone. And Canadian uh, Defense Minister, whatever his name is, he started coming forth about these things. So... It's nothing new to me. And if you look at the moon, the moon is not exactly what you may think it is. So, which is also what I've seen on ancient aliens, that they're now coming forth with science and facts of things. I was kind of surprised that they actually said it. But as we've seen with the government, you know, they, they like to hold out 20, 30 years and say, oh, by the way, it, we did know about this, but, you know, we was putting the time time cap on it <laughs> so so yeah anyways we'll end it right there but to be informed takes you out of ignorance and the, the more you become a form and awareness energy opens itself up to you and you will never be bored I can guarantee that Energy will flood you with so many things and test you and bring information to you and, and just really like play dough, just mold you. And it's never a dull moment. I guarantee with energy and I, you are not going to fall asleep in the class. <laughs> and that, actually, that's kind of an understatement. But anyways, we'll end it right there. This is Ever Pierce with Einstein 314.